So I'm here at the Paris Air Show with Dr. Alexander Loss of uh, Antonov. Antonov has uh, today shown the uh, AN-132D uh, for the first time at the show. They've been developing the aircraft with uh, Saudi Arabia's TACNIA and uh, King Abdulaziz's uh, Centre for Science and Technology. Uh, now, Dr. Loss, can you tell us about some of the history of this program? It's, it's been a very fast development. Uh, I think it was about 18 months, is that correct? But allow me still refer to the history a bit, because obviously there cannot be developed such kind of an aeroplane within 18 months. Beyond this 18 months stands the history of the entire N124 and 26 family, which dates back to the mid of 1950s. So this is a derivative of that family. The aeroplane in the concept is based on the Antonov 32, but from that concept what we kept only is the cross-section of the fuselage and the sophisticated rear ramp. All the rest on the airplane is redesigned and reindustrialized. And you've also brought in a number of Western suppliers uh, into the supply chain now to make this a, a very Western aircraft. Can you tell us about some of the collaboration you've had with, with these firms? This was not driven only by Antonov or by King Abdulaziz, City of, of Science and Technology. Also, the political situation around Ukraine helped with that. Whom we have on board? Of course, I have to start with the Pratt & Whitney Canada, with brilliant Pratt & Whitney 150 engines, the Doughty propellers, Liebherr system on the ECS side, from Liebherr to lose, Honeywell avionic suit. But also I have to underline that there is a, a very large number of Ukrainian vendors from the private sector, from the governmental sector. So this airplane is really Ukrainian and Western. You are quite right saying that. And moving forward, uh, you also envisage a number of roles for the aircraft, uh, not just uh, for medium transport. It's going to be things like uh, perhaps maritime patrol. Uh, and what are some of the other things that you think that uh, the aircraft can do? This is a multi-purpose platform. So only your fantasy and the military budget is the limit for this. And you'll continue working with other firms globally? I mean, you've uh, signed with Havelsan recently for an MPA um, collaboration on this aircraft? Absolutely. But also I want to, to tell that uh, it, it is not the first platform where we started collaboration with the Western suppliers. Antona was nearly the first company in the Ukraine, which in the mid of 90s started with AN-140, Antona 140, where already we were attracting Western suppliers. So Antona was already within 20 year range of working on the Western, at least, supplier market. But now also we're attract, uh, entering as the supplier of the air, airframe platform. Okay, thank you very much for your time and enjoy the show.